Hey guys, it's Aaron. There's a video coming out later this week from Larry Zent where he talks about the process of moving your business from a CAD environment to a SketchUp environment. I know some people get hung up on that because computer-aided drawing or drafting is kind of what SketchUp is. So when you talk about CAD, that's kind of what we do, right? That is CAD. But Regardless, he's talking about some of the bigger CAD packages that are generally used in architectural firms, moving away from that into a more SketchUp focused workflow. So it's a cool video because he talks about his situation that he went through with his work and how he moved over. And then there's a little spot at the end where Nick Sonder, some of you guys know him from our videos, gets up and answers some questions as well. So pretty cool video, check it out. And it did make me think about a couple different things when we talk about using DWG, DXF files from other platforms and bringing them into SketchUp. I thought of one thing specifically that I hear all the time, and that is I brought my lines in, and now what do I do to make surfaces out of it? Um, we're going to take a look at that, what we can do about that right now. Specifically, what we're going to talk about is this extension. Enerot Face Creator. So you guys probably know or have heard of Enerot before. She has some amazing extensions, like a lot of them, 60 something, maybe 70 by this time, different extensions. Um, if you have not seen her stuff, I recommend going to Extension Warehouse right now and just checking out all the extensions from Enerot 3. We'll put a link down in the description below. If you have used her extensions, you know that she creates very useful, generally easy to use extensions that uh, save huge amounts of time. And uh, Face Creator is no exception. So we're gonna take a look at how this works right now. It is available on the Extension Warehouse. We'll link below. It is free. You can just download it and use it. And you can see here, it goes, it works all the way back to SketchUp number seven, both Mac and Windows. So. You should have no problem getting it, installing it, and running it on your installation of SketchUp right away. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to come into this file and I'm going to go import uh, DWG to start with. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and on my desktop I have a DWG that I want to import. I'm going to drag it in, let that import do its thing, and click on Close. All right, so here we go. That brought in, as expected, a whole bunch of lines. So what I don't have in here, obviously, are surfaces. So it did, it, this did, first off, it got pulled in as a group. That's how DXFs or DWGs come in. So I'm gonna start by exploding my group. All right, so now if I look in here, the process right now to go through and make these all in a surface that I could pull up, so here's a corner of my garage wall, would be to come in here and draw lines to get this section closed so I could grab that and then pull that to the proper height. Not a huge deal for this one little thing. Maybe not a huge deal for this rather small house, but if I had a serious big model, uh, you could see how it could be time consuming. In some cases, what you can do is grab this geometry. I'm gonna move it straight up. I could come in and put a ground plane down and then drop this back down. In some cases, that alone will cause the geometry to merge. Sometimes I can do that, then select all of this, and intersect face with selection, and let it find the places that those lines hit the surface. This is hit or miss. Sometimes it does it. There's a lot of lines to ask it to find intersections for, so it doesn't always find everything. Some of them work out, but you can see I still have some thick lines there indicating that I have segments that are not joined to surfaces. I'm going to control Z a couple times to get back. And what we're going to take, take a look at is using Enerot's face creator. So I'm going to select these lines, go to my extensions, and click Enerot face creator. Simple. One button push. And there we go. It created something. So let's zoom in here and look and see what it did. So it found every place that that, that, that closed. I can come in here. And look at that, there's my wall. That one worked out perfectly. There's a couple spots here that it, it didn't quite close up. Like here's an example one right here. This 
didn't close. And the reason is, you can see I have an actual break in my geometry. This speaks more to the quality of the file I'm actually importing than it does to Enerot's tool. It's not going to magically fix these breaks. Um, it's just going to work with what I've got. So if I close that up, see it does work. It does close up. Same thing here with the, the driveway didn't close because I actually don't have a line here closing the back side like that. So this, if you're in a situation like the one Larry talks about where you have a CAD file that you need to get into SketchUp, this may be a tool you want to look into because it will save you a lot of heartache and trouble when you have to actually create surfaces out of that line work. Granted, some people like buzzing around and actually drawing lines or even importing their CAD work as a PDF or an image that they can work off of to create their model. That's fine if that's your workflow, go for it. If you do want to bring line work in and create it into a 3D SketchUp model, check out Enerot Face Creator. It is a great tool and it will save you time if that is your workflow. Come back on Friday too and check out Larry's entire 3D Basecamp 2018 presentation on migrating from CAD to SketchUp. Hopefully you liked that video. If so, give us a like down below and subscribe. That way you'll be notified the next time a video comes out, including Larry's video on Friday. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like about this video. If you have other ideas or other extensions you think I should take a look at. Like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.